Hi, how you doing? This is Stephen from Mask One Mac Tech. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bind your iMac, your client, uh, to your open directory. So let's get started. Uh, so basically, we're, uh, what we need to do is I'm going to bring up server here. We want to bind uh, a Mac to our uh, open directory master. So uh, basically, I'm going to go. I'm going to launch uh, Work Group Manager. I'm going to create an account. Let me log in here, connect, and I'm going to create, let me authenticate here, authenticated, and let's see here, new user, and I'm going to put, uh, I'll just put test, test iMac2, iMac2. And we'll put a password in there. I'm going to put uh, okay. Let's save. Okay, so we just created an account, just a generic account. And uh, let's see, put some preferences in here. And let's see the doc. Let's uh, take all these out. Add some, just a couple things. So let's add uh, dictionary and Safari. There we go. I'll click merge stock. Let's go to preferences and let's put mobility. Always create, apply. Now, if you're getting confused on what I'm doing here, I did make a video on Workgroup Manager, a brief video overview of it. So go ahead and subscribe and go to my channel. You'll be able to um, uh, find the video there, typing in Workgroup Manager. Uh, let's go Preferences, and let's show None, Apply, and let's see, Mouse, Desktop, Doc. I love Root Group Manager, man. It's awesome. I hope Apple never takes away Root Group Manager. Okay, so uh, we got iMac 2 that's created. So we're going to collapse that. We got our directory server. So what we did is uh, I created a, I created a user um, on the network, local network here, uh, iMac 2. It's a profile that I created, an account for my Mac client. We're going to log into it after we. Uh, bind it to the open directory here so we have open directory it's on and that's really all we need here so let's uh, collapse this and I use this uh, application here called share uh, screen sharing it's in uh, in the uh, let me show you where it's at better if I just show you systems go to your hard drive systems library core services and if you don't have uh, ARD, uh, Apple Remote Desktop, this is a great alternative. Uh, just scroll right down here. And there it is. Right there, and you can just drag it to the desktop and use that. So we're going to bring that up. I already uh, logged in, but or remoted in. But let me show you how this works. I'm going to launch this, and basically you just type in your IP address. So one, six, eight, one. Connect. Let's connect for password. Boom, I'm in. Okay, so here's my desktop. And so now we're going to uh, bind my uh, Mac here to the open directory. So I'm going to go to System Preferences. And this is on uh, my Mac that I'm remoting into. And we're going to go to User and Groups. And we're going to unlock it. And we're going to come down here to login options. We're going to see, see where it says network account server. We're going to hit join. And here I'm going to type in my IP address. And I am going to hit OK. And then it's going to give me a uh, certificate. I'm going to hit trust. And it's going to say, this server does not provide a secure. Okay, we know that. So we're going to hit continue anyways. 
And now uh, we got the green light. So we're going to go back in and we're going to open up directory utility. And uh, type in our password again. We're going to hit, we're going to select LDAP v3. Double click actually. And then we're going to hit new. Actually, sorry about that. We're going to hit, we're going to select this and hit edit. And we're going to come down here and hit bind. And then we put our credentials in. Hit OK. And boom, we're bound. Okay, so we're going to click OK. Okay, we're going to get all this out. And we're going to log out of here. And we're going to log into our new account. Now, there's one thing I've got to do here. Uh, make sure you go over to users. Okay. And see where it says uh, local network user. This is on my little network at home. We're going to double click this. And see where it says home folder. It says custom. We're going to select that and hit done. And wait for it to finish configuring. We're good to go. I'm going to come right over here to other. Oops, there we go. And let's type in iMac user 2 and my password. Okay, we're going to log in. We should get a confirmation. All right, so we get that. We're going to skip it. All right. So I'm going to uh, log out real quick here. And I'm going to come over to Workgroup Manager. I just want to show you something. I want those to hard drives to come up. So I'm going to go over here to preferences and let's go to finder and hit always and hit apply now. Now you can see that I got hard disk, external disks, CDs, DVDs, connected servers. I have all these checked. I hit apply now. So now I'm going to log back in. Excuse me. I'm just launching my, my uh, Alienware to me, to the side of me. I'm going to log in here and put the password in. And boom. Okay, so now you can control your uh, your accounts at home um, when you bind your Macs to the open directory. So